Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome back to Factorio. As you see, I got my uh, my handy dandy chicken hat on. Uh, it was purchased in the last episode, so we're having fun. Everything's good. Um, we're getting beeped out a lot, so I kind of want to check and see what's going on. Um, we're having some issues with some backup, and I don't understand what's going on, so I'm going to have to see what is up. So I'm going to have to drive on into the base again. As is tradition. We'll get there eventually. My base is getting huge, man. <laughs> And one of these days we'll get some robot frames situated, but with all these interruptions, I'm, I'm I want to get to it sooner rather than later. But I gotta get these resources first, and then we'll get to robot frames. It's the overall goal right now. His life will change infinitely uh, and become infinitely better once I can get robots going. Yay, bots! Okay, so what do we got going on? We got me going way too fast. Hold on. <laughs> okay, it's over. It's over here. It's starting up here. Okay, so why is everybody stuck? So we got gray science, which should not be stuck there. We got plastics. Okay, okay, okay. I think I already see the issue. So we got plastics being weighted on. Why? What? Okay, so this was supposed to be my thing for dropping off uh, iron plates. But the thing is, I never made my my bypass for plastic. So that's that's the issue. That is our problem. So let's go ahead and plop this down. Right here. That might be a little close. Let's go with here. And then same thing here, probably just gonna oops, let's do this and then do this. And then do oops, that that why were you waiting was there something down here you're just being weird that's what it was <laughs> seems to be the case okay so you were full and that's all moving now so that should have taken care of the issue we were having I'm hoping Yeah, everybody's moving now. Okay, good, good, good. Let's get back to where we were working. I'm just going to go north here. Make sure there's nobody stuck up here as well. Because there was that one train that was kind of just hanging out. But it's cleared up, so that's good. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Everything seems to be working now. Let me let me do a quick check of the map. Everybody's still moving around. But people are moving, and that's the important thing. Okay. I'll be happy once I can get back over and working on oil again. <laughs> We'll get there, though. Okay, so our... Excuse me. We got somebody at oil pickup now. Oh, yeah, that's... 
that was that was awesome. And then we have our area set up down with the uh, the iron ore pickup. It's always a good thing. You are full, but what do you have nowhere to go? You have nowhere to go. Okay, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I guess I didn't necessarily need to hop out of my vehicle. And that's good. We'll eventually have somebody coming to pick up here. You are empty, so I'm wondering if you're actually heading up to where, where I am currently. So much traffic. Everybody's moving though, right? I mean, this guy wouldn't be moving if everybody else wasn't. Technically. This is not efficient in the least. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it figured out. Okay, I'm just trying to see where this guy's going to go. There was that one little quarry up to the north, which he may be going to. If that's the case, then I'm not going to worry about it too much. Or maybe I will. Maybe I'll put a secondary train on this loop. So that way we'll have two ore trains. Yeah, so he's going to sit there for a while. So let's go ahead and put a secondary train on this ore loop, and we'll have two trains dedicated to that process. So the way we fix congestion is we add more congestion. Okay, so let's do uh, iron ore supply. And that should be good. Go to automatic. And you're good. Okay, cool. And off you go. Oh, I need to do my... My logistics. Where are my... There it is. Okay. Oh, I'm not... I need... I need... I need... I need a pole is what I need. Oh my gosh. And I totally flubbed that up because I'm awesome. There we go. Do the usual thing. Anything equals zero. It is enabled. Good. <laughs> oh, I'm not the only one that, has, that sucks at driving. Good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm really glad to hear that. <laughs> All right. So we're going to have to cut in here. That'll be fine. Let's go ahead and do that. Why not have one big train do almost everything? Uh, because I'm using trains as storage. So like if I have a full train and I'm going to an outpost, that train will slowly empty while other trains are doing work. And um, if we have one train doing everything, that's a whole lot of, that's a whole lot more complex stuff that you have to plan for and think through that I'm not really, I'm not really trying to get at. <laughs> So here, what is the logistics thing in the middle of my inventory? I will look in just a second. Let me let me get all these marked for removal. Because it doesn't necessarily have to be that big. Even with like the squeak through for the trees. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt to run through. Forest. There's that. Let's go ahead and mark these guys. So there should be what, five here? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, ooh, ooh six. Excuse me. There were six. <laughs> so way more efficient though. Okay. Well, I mean, if you want to play Factorio and, and build your base around that concept, then I'd be happy to check it out. But uh, I, it's way too late in the game to re refactor everything. Uh, <laughs> as it stands now. So uh, the logistics things in the middle of my inventory, uh, this thing, uh, it's an interface for the nanobots, which I haven't quite figured out how it works. Um, so it's this thing. And then you're supposed to do some sort of weird interface program thing, which I don't understand how that works. Um, I, I just, I just, don't know how okay apparently there's something you can put into it. I, I don't I don't know how it works don't know how it works just don't just don't know so yeah I, I, I couldn't tell you <laughs> um, so that's why I don't really use it Okay, 
Alright, let's go ahead and get some tinks. Tink, tink, oh, tink, 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 tink. And then we'll just connect everything up as is tradition. So that should be good, I think. And then um, we can just put our tracks down up here. I'm going to have to set up another blueprint book just for train stuff. No, the tab between the crafting and the actual inventory slots. Tab between the crafting and the inventory slots. This? Uh, that's the LTN. That that's a like a smart. It basically turns um, trains into like robots and adds logistics to that. But it's a bit of a complicated mod. And um, once I started getting into it, I realized that my base was way too built out to try to add it in a new system like that. I would have literally had to went back to every single station that I've gotten and um, rework everything. So I did. I decided to drop that. So we're already getting close to bots anyway. Sweet or sour fruit. I, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to try to taste that to, to, to figure that one out. <laughs> okay, we got people stuck at uh, places again, which is awesome. Yeah, the LTN mod is really, really interesting. I just wish I would have understood it before I really built out as much of my base as I did. Because I would have used it. <laughs> and we wouldn't have all this beeping stuff going on. But that's part of it, so. And then I'll probably just do that. There we go. And then use my T intersection. Because that's awesome. Do that. And then that. Oh no, I'm out of rail. That's sad. That's very sad. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and handcraft all freaking thousand of these. Because why not? And then uh, I guess while that's doing that thing, I'm going to go and work on figuring out where my other stations are going to be, my other little outposts are going to be. So it's going to be further south. So we need three, two for iron and one for crude oil. Oh, okay, Mouthburn. I, I, I didn't get what you were saying. So that makes sense, but... Uh, I don't think that's something that's that's uh, coded into the game. You know, just, just saying, Bo. I just said Bo instead of bro. I missed my R. Words are hard. But we know this. Of course, Haggard needs... Haggard always needs resources. And Haggard needs to stop talking about himself in third person because it's weird. Okay, so did I... I completely missed. There's this one. Okay. This one... Oh my gosh. This one is going to be like one or two max drills. Like, I mean, seriously, it's just going to be that. And then those are going to go into this. <laughs> and then those are going to go into this. And then, I mean, I guess... I can bring a guy uh, along to, to hop off here, but then I'm going to have to have <sighs> I'm going to have to have stuff to work with to do that. Uh, and I'm trying to say rails. Rails is the word I'm looking for, but cannot find it. Save my life. There we go. So that'll be fine for now. And then uh, I guess we probably do the clicky thing there. 
I may have already done this, but. Do you think? Do you think? There you go. How are we doing? So that I can get rid of. What about this? That is iron ore. We literally have just one left. But it'll take its time, so. It'll be fine. Okay, so the next is going to be over here. So let's just go ahead and pull this over. Oh no, 10 minutes is not a good number to be beeping at me. Oh man. What now? <laughs> oh, I can't wait till I get to bot so I can stop getting this freaking beeping at me. Okay, so what, what, what's the deal now? Why are you worried? What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Okay, I can't. Hmm. So you're stuck. That's south. That's the entire place is all locked up again. I'm I'm not happy with these deadlocks. There's obviously something wrong. It's probably the design. Er, aka me. Okay. 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 I need to figure out a way to stop all this from happening. So what are you waiting on? Why do you... So is it literally just this one? You are... Going to iron plate pickup. You're waiting on this guy. But that's drop off. You're going to drop off. Okay, so yeah, I really, I really, really need to get more plates into the system because that's what's happening. Uh, these trains don't have stuff to pick up and um, they're not too happy. So I got to fix that. I don't know if that's a good use of my uh, landfill, but it'll be fun. Oh, uh, Gatino. Thank you for following on Twitch. Welcome, welcome. You run over resources, I guess. Oh, I think the whole one rail system is a major problem. Trains can't pass each other. Yeah, you might be right. But uh, I plan on getting bots going soon, so I won't get beeped at quite as much soon, hopefully. Oh, sweet Jesus. It's getting bad. It's getting very bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven. We do like an eight to four, an eight to a two. <laughs> uh, you know, I know exactly how I'm going to do this. All right. So let's go ahead and just do this. Uh, where's the middle? One, two, three, one, two, three. So right here. This will be good. So we'll do it like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure, and then we'll just do it like that, and then we'll just do it like that, and then we'll just do it like that. That works for me. Watch the series on YouTube. Oh, you do watch the series on YouTube. Cool, man. Appreciate it. that isn't really necessary and once again not going for perfect ratios just trying to get it all boiled down to two lanes oh hey you convert over to purely bots or do you construct your belts um i kind of leave uh, i kind of go into like a hybrid like i start building using bots and then if there's things i can go back later on and uh, make more efficient then I, I switch those over to bots but it just kind of I just kind of do it as needed everything's a case-by-case -case basis for me with everything I build but uh, it might not be a bad call honestly especially with uh, as much beeping as I've been getting lately <laughs> I should get most everything there's a couple more down here I need to get oh there we go. That's covered. That's not needed. These aren't needed. That 
that needs one. That's good. And that's good. Okay. So we have that now. And I think... I think I'm only going to do... My buffer on this side. Because I don't really need to worry about it too, too much. Um, yeah, let's just do that. That'll be fine. Move that there. That's kind of a waste. There we go. And then we're down to 138 left. We're getting there. We will get our line situated soon, or our, our rails. I'm going to call it risotto. Just poached chicken and rice roni. I'm fancy pants, god damn it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, man. As you should. Here, here. <laughs> Build a big main bus and then just terminate the bus into provider storage chest. Yeah, that's that's the way I, I've done it before. Uh, and that was before I really got into like the train system. This train system could be a lot better, but this is just kind of how it's come come to be in this playthrough. Uh, Libby three five six, thank you for following on Twitch. Welcome, welcome. You came here for my hat, didn't you? <laughs> I don't blame you. It's a sexy hat. That is a lot of biters down. Oh, oh my gosh. Hopefully they are not connected to any mainland. Let's go and put another couple of pump jacks down. And a couple of tanks. Okay, and then uh, we'll probably want something popping off from this side. Should be good. Okay, we are now getting rails, so we can get back to work on that again. Thankfully. Oh, and we're out of poles, too. Oh, no. We need some uh, plates. All right, looks like we're making a trip back into the... Uh, oh, excuse me, we're making a trip just north to the, the plate smeltery. And running in trees as I'm looking at chat. You shouldn't text and drive, kids. <laughs> or else or else you're running into rocks. Just like I did. The doctor said the brain damage would be permanent. As you can see. Oh Chris, no, what's going on? Why are you sad? Sad Chris is not good, Chris. Sure, that works. Daniel, thank you for subscribing on YouTube. Welcome, welcome. Oh. Oh, I didn't do the bad thing. There we go. Okay. So now I can make some more of these guys. That's going to come in a while. All right. Just make them all. Oh, and that, that's a rock. <laughs> you shouldn't look at your inventory and drive kits. Still said they canceled Firefly. Oh, my God. <sighs> the feels, man. The feels. Yeah, you can add me on Steam. No problem, man. Just don't be like messaging me during streams, if you don't mind. Uh, you should be able to find me by my same name on Steam. Yeah, oh, Firefly was so good. Go ram it. <laughs> okay, so we should be able to have guys come in. So coming in, going out that way, should probably have that guy coming out like this. It's close enough to that loop there that I'm not going to do a, a double kind of deal. Wait. Quartorf said he's broke. Can I give him some nerf points? Oh, no. Torvok is, is broke because he keeps buying hats. <laughs> but uh, that, that's his prerogative to, to purchase those things. Oh, speaking of money, though, uh, John, have you noticed that um, 
Nerd coins have been increasing. Or is that not a thing? Because I made a change last stream that should have fixed that. All right, Daniel, thanks for hanging out, bud. That's, ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, it shouldn't be, uh, you guys shouldn't have access to that command. If you do, let me know. <laughs> That should be good there. So we're gonna be coming in, looping up and around. We will have a station. Oh goodness. I apologize. Apparently my stomach's being weird today. I blame the Italian food I had earlier. Here. Okay. Okay, so let's go a little bit higher up. So that way I can have space to put down my station. No change? Like, I think it's once every five minutes. So if you check the, uh, the number just now and then again like a couple seconds later, then it's not going to change. So check again in like five minutes and see if anything changes. Please. Let's try this again. Okay, so station, cool, cool. This is gonna be oil pickup. All right, cool. And then um, we're just gonna need some pumps to do the thing. And then we'll just run this up. such nice of course I'm waiting on power poles um I'm probably gonna do this because why not it's a little bit wasteful but we're kind of in need right now I really should position that one more over so we can cover it by both. There we go. It should work. Shouldn't be a problem. And then uh, run these down to there. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then we'll do our usual logistics thing here. Some red wire. Doesn't really matter the color, yes, but that's what I've been using. So if oil in this instance equals zero, no, I just selected that equals zero, then it's enabled. Should be good. Cool. So we have another station for oil, which is great. Let's go ahead and get situated with those couple of stations up here, outposts, whatever. So this one will be coming down. So let's go ahead and pull out from here. And then uh, I'm going to do a double out, double exit, I guess. I'm going south if for some reason I need to. And then one, I guess, looping back around if that's a possibility. Without being too crazy. Uh, no, it's fine. It can, it's literally just like that loop down there. So I'm not going to worry about it. 
Okay, um, we'll be coming down from here. Let's go ahead and get rid of these signals because they're not too happy about the situation. Let's do that. And then do this. Awesome. Then we're getting beeped out again because that's fun. And this is going to be iron ore pickup. Corey, excuse me. And are we, are we freaking stuck again? Everybody backed up. Oh my God. Why are we backed up again? Because of this. For some reason. Yeah, no pickup. Okay. Oh, because we got a couple going here. Do, oh, we don't have any signaling right there. Okay. Or the uh, logistics right there. So we'll need to go ahead and fix that. So I'll do that as soon as I get this situation. Uh, this, this all situated. Um, let's go ahead and do the usual two here. Wait a minute. Oh, that one already is done. What? I don't remember picking that chest up, though. I'm kind of confused. I'm kind of very confused. How did that chest disappear? I'm gonna have to go back and review. <laughs> what is this all about? Oh, that's secondary efficiency. Right, right, right. Okay. Herp to derp to do. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I guess I'll do a splitter. This is gonna be. This is not really worth all this effort, but it is what it is. So we have that. And that will empty out as it needs to. So now this will be coming up from the bottom. Let's go ahead and use our handy dandy blueprints. Notice that with my game, the auto deconstruct will pick up connected boxes to the miners. Oh, okay. I did have it connected to the miner. That that makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. Kind of. <laughs> I got it. That oh, that's that's an interesting feature. <laughs> All right. So let's just go ahead and uh, do I want to come up this way? I think maybe I do. So we're getting we got 800 left of our rails to make. Then we'll be able to start putting down uh, power poles again, which would be great. In the meantime, let's go ahead and see how this is going to work out. Oh, no, Chris. Oh, no. Yeah, the bot can be kind of crazy sometimes. Great for bot loader miner stations. Oh, okay, yeah, that that totally makes sense. Uh, bot loader miner stations. That sounds like something I need to be doing soon. I should have kept that one. It's kind of a weird intersection, but it'll work. Oop, oop. Okay. And then um, that's going to be kind of doubled up, but I'll put one. I'll have to connect those later. Okay, so if it's going to be coming in, uh, see so here outside, it's going to be going down, inside, going to be coming in. So those signals are always on the right. Do one more station here. Oh, I got. I got to stop doing that. Well, I guess actually, it doesn't matter that it's only two o'clock, uh, uh, two wide, or three wide, because uh, it does situate. Uh, you know, as long as you got the, the the signal turned properly. Okay, that works. Never mind. That's not a problem like I thought it was. Uh, this is going to also be iron quarry. There we go. 
cool. And then um, we're going to have two. I feel like maybe we could do better than that, but it's it's fine. It's good. Ain't too worried about it. Um, let's get our loaders going. Doop, doop. And these guys can do this. And then do that. There we go. Very cool. And then we just got to get our power pole situated. So there's that. And that. Awesome. Okay. So we're getting everything situated. I like it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Next episode, let's see what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and uh, I'm probably not going to start the next episode until after our rails are done uh, crafting. So that way I can go ahead and connect everything to power here. And then this area should be done. We can start moving on to... Um, Looking at getting bots situated and uh, fixing our issue over here with our iron plate drop off, which does not have proper logistics, you know, logic. Yeah, logistics logic. Wonderful. That's that's some eloquent speaking on my behalf there. So, uh, <laughs> guys, uh, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you like what I do, hit the like button. If you want to help my channel grow, guys, share my videos, share my live streams, leave likes, leave comments, all that good stuff. Because uh, the more you guys participate, the bigger we grow. Definitely want to do that. So, I definitely appreciate all the support you guys give me every single day. Thank you guys so much. You guys rock. And uh, just heads up, we got a giveaway going on. So, make sure you check the link in the description for more information. Also, guys, uh, I'm working with TJ Mines on a Kickstarter for his uh, his book, Dubois. We're working on an audiobook. So, if you want to help get that funded and get that off the ground, uh, there's also a link down in the description for you to check out. So, I appreciate your support there, guys. Thank you so much. And, uh, guys, I'll catch you in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.